How's it, everybody? Welcome back to Misguided. Okay, guys, here. <laughs> Live here. So I'm Oliver. Uh, sometimes people call me the wolf guy. I'm Davian Explorers. We're out here in a beautiful wetlands. We're here doing some bird watching. Mammals is a new live streaming ecosystem dedicated to nature storytelling. We can live in places all across the world and have community now. And that to me is a game changer. You know, you make the film and you put it on YouTube, but now being able to do that live and be able to answer questions uh, from, from someone halfway across the world, I think it's great. And then you make new friends too. Sabrina asks what, what my favorite thing about bird watching is. Um, oof, that's a great question. Laurel, hey, it's so good to see you on the stream. Pam, I think more than seeing a tiger, I was more excited to see a sloth bear because it's a very rare sighting, first of all. Yanni has a question for everyone. What is your spirit animal and why? The leader glass of salamanders. I'm talking about them later today. I love them so much. Sneaky Che asks, what happens if a shark comes? You can't know everything. So let's go talk to people who do. Let's explore our planet. Let's find people in the field, boots on the ground, and chat with them. See right here, I can almost stick my finger in there. That is really deep. That deepness is a really big characteristic of a mule deer. The Belita glossas are a little bit smaller than you'd expect compared to other plethodontids in their family. These guys have a dimorphism, so they'll, they'll be born a female and be living in a group, and then when the, the male dies or moves on, uh, the, the fastest growing female will then turn into a male. We need to educate for the future generation, where the future generation is us today. We have a huge responsibility in our shoulders that sometimes we are forgetting that. So it's a different, we, can, we have in our hands the time to do something or to do nothing. Storytelling is integral to building community and building community is integral to effective conservation. We have way too many stories about people coming from outside and you know saying that forests need to be saved, animals need to be saved. But imagine how powerful the story would be if, say, a young person could, uh, like from a community, could pick up the camera and say that this is my forest where I grew up, and it is so powerful. And I think that's what uh, mammals is trying to do as well, right? You're doing that, and that's the kind of world that I want to be a part of. There are so many amazing stories wrapped up in evolutionary biology, and it's stories that I love to tell. The alarm calls, and even in this particular case, the smell of the salt trees, it was all so refreshing. But you're centering yourself in the now with your environment, with everything that's happening, and it's dynamic, and it's changing, and it's flowing. <gasps> that is a peregrine falcon. Look at that, what a, <sighs> what a great goodbye.